welcome to section 2 of deep learning with pytorch section 2 will cover convolutional neural network in this particular section we will understand what is convolutional neural network how computer understand images and we will create a model to process the images understand what is convolutional neural network the example that we are taking is a very basic level example for cnn we have some not some but many handwritten images which contain some kind of a numbers from 0 to 9 mostly and our model will take input as an images and will detect the number from that images so a kind of image detection um, network we are going to form so let us start with our first topic that is what is cnn so one can understand that convolutional neural networks are used for image related task and the cnn has a wide applications that mostly includes classification segmentation and detection of the images a very basic or very initial stage example that we all can relate to is that a facebook face detection now whenever you put a picture on a facebook it will try to detect the face and will tag that person so in that particular case they are using a convolutional neural network to detect a face face from an image and it is a, a kind of a image detection algorithm or a neural network they have formed image detection is also required for the self driving cars so when there is a self driving cars it's required to recognize many images while it was on the road it needs to detect an objects also it also need, needs to detect the traffic signs also and it also has to deal with the moving objects another aspect of cnn is to emotion recognition it can recognize the emotion from the faces so if there is an image of a person face who is happy or smiling so it can recognize that the emotion attached with that smiling face is a happiness same way it can also recognize sadness so it can also recognize many kind of an emotions using a simple face expression now just to understand it nowadays the volume of picture is so much that there is a requirement for a computers to interpret the images this is a google trend image that i have taken recently to compare artificial neural network with convolutional neural network and you can see from this particular trend that from 2013 there is a tremendous growth in a convolutional neural network as per google trends and artificial neural network is almost stagnant not to be saying stagnant but the trend is not rising you cannot see a spike in the artificial neural network whereas convolutional has gone very fast in compared to artificial neural network why it happens there are many factors but the two factors that i would like to highlight is that the first the smartphones nowadays everyone has a smartphone back in 2013 also the smartphone had almost be started becoming a common and if you have a smartphone nowadays two cameras or three cameras minimum are there in with have a smartphone so if you compare number of persons and the number of cameras so number of cameras is almost triple the number of persons so the image content has increased drastically in last decade you can think of that not a last decade also in last five to six years in 2013 the image net has uh, able to do this convolutional neural network and from that point onwards the cnn has been growing since then and nowadays if you see the um, mobiles are coming with an artificial intelligence there are tools for image beautifications in mobiles devices so this is the one thing to show that cnn is gaining a vast popularity nowadays and a lot of traction is there most of the mobile apps and most of the major giant companies are moving toward the image processing kind of a thing now before we go ahead into cnn let us try to understand how our brain works so whenever you see an image your brain has a pre-trained memory about the images and it can conclude or infer from some features that this is a image of xyz so if you see a cat or if you see a dog your brain's neurons will start working and they will conclude to you that this is a dog now sometimes there are some images some aspect where your brain is not able to get clear picture see the current picture on a slide if you look at this picture from this portion 
that is i am looking on the half sides or the second half of the image so your brain will see that it has a nose that is a pointy nose has a lip has a chin and a kind of a eye so it will detect that this image or this woman is looking towards the right side but when you start looking on the left portion of this image your brain will detect that this image is looking towards you it is a front facing face so how brain decides whether this is a front face or a side face it simply look on some portion and it detects some kind of a features and on the basis of features your brain concludes or infer that what this image is let's go on to a second image now when you see this image first time the first thing your brains come up with is that this image is a rotating image the circles are rotating but the fact is that they are both static they are not rotating it takes time for brain to come to one conclusion that this is a static image and if you don't strain it it you will think or your brain will make you think that it is a rotating images what my main point is that everything comes down to the features for every image that your brain decides it try to look for a features and if your brain able to match that features it will conclude that you are seeing a dog or you are seeing a cat or you are seeing a car or you are seeing an aeroplane it all depend upon the features that your brain has recorded and the previous two images that we have shown is just to explain that not every time your brain is correct it can become a illusion to you also sometime and that same applies for computer also so most of times computer will also try to detect the features and on basis of features it concludes the images or come to a conclusion that this image is of an object a but it's not sure that it will always be true there are chances that it may not give you a correct answer this is a simple mathematical aspect we are not going to cover it deep so what is a convolutional in simple terms it is a combined integration of a two function to produce a third to shows how one function affect this shape of the others and there is a mathematical formula for this if you are interested in the mathematical aspect then you can look uh, google it out or search on the net there are so many research papers basic materials available to teach you how this all mathematics works behind the scenes but we are least consider and we want to keep this course simple and want to consider on pytorch section most not on a mathematical aspect